This is a clip demonstrating how a particular appearance looks, looks in a radiograph. Now this lesion is actually a residual radicular cyst and this kind of configuration or appearance is called as brandy glass appearance. Now just to let you know how we call this brandy, brandy glass appearance is because if you look at the base of the lesion it appears to be wider and the top of the legend appears to be narrower so if it you can imagine a wine glass or a brandy glass that's how this image would look like the top of that glass will be narrow and the bottom will be a little bit bigger or wider than the top part of the glass and that's why it appears as a brandy glass appearance this clip is showing a localized legion of cementoblastoma and if you look carefully that the legion has a radiolucent halo which helps in separating the legion from the part of the bone and that makes it easier for this kind of legion to be nucleated or to be removed from the rest of the jawbone. So whenever you are faced with the challenge of analyzing a radiograph, you can look for this particular radiolucent halo around the lesion, which help you distingu distinguish it from a malignant lesion and will help you decide or take in consideration various kind of lesions that are encapsulated and choose one of the options out of those. Now, if you look at this clip, look at how it appears as rotten or eaten out. So that's why it's been given a name called as moth eaten appearance. If you have to compare it with something, I would ask you to compare it with a dry wood at the corner of a old door, which, which appear as a eaten out. You, it will appear that a chunk or bite has been taken out by some insect. So look in this radiograph and that's what you feel when you look at this kind of bone that it has been eaten out by a moth and that's what the name suggests calling as a moth eaten appearance for this kind of legend for a general information this is a leo Mayo sarcoma and it's a malignant legend in the jaw and gives such an appearance this is a legend showing the classical findings in multiple myeloma. In this clip, you can see that there are some punched out legends. As this clip is showing the skull of the patient and the reason they appear as punched out because of the immunoglobulin reasons when due to those chemical mediators, osteoblasts are inhibited and osteoclasts are activated. And that's the reason when it caused some reactions in the bony part of the skull and make the radiograph look like this. And this is a cl classical finding in multiple myeloma. So be aware of this, these kind of legends whenever you see such a radiograph and you have options to choose one entity from the list of options go ahead and choose punched out legends as a classical finding for multiple myeloma now whenever you see a legend in a radiograph that suggests that it has radiolucency as well as radio opacity means that either something is dissolving or something is forming so if you have an option such as cementifying fibroma which is actually in this case then you get an idea how a fibroma since it involves soft tissue would appear radiolucent and on the other part it also calls it as cementifying means something is forming or, or something is mineralizing or depositing in the legend itself it gives you an idea that it's called as uh, cementifying fibroma and choose the option that goes with the radiograph that way. This is a clip showing odontoma. Now 
the key thing to no notice here is how the re opacity of the lesion is same as the tooth. Now that's what the name suggests. Odontoma means like tooth. And this will give you an idea that how the consistency or the radiographic intensity of the image is exactly the same as the tooth and the legend. So here it's easier to choose one option from the list of options during your exam. This is a clip showing honeycomb appearance. So basically it's a name given to a legend when the legend has various mineralized septas running through the legend and dividing the complete legend into various small sections and that's when you can give it a name as honeycomb appearance. So by looking at this image you can see how trabecular patterns are running within this legend and forming various septa and creating various degrees of multilocularity. If you see some septas that are not running vertically or horizontally and rather arising or ending at an angle or like they are angular interstices, then most likely they are odontogenic myxomas as you can see in this case, uh, giving it a honeycomb appearance as well.